All right, here are our uh, example questions for inverse trigonometric ratios. I'm going to play around a little bit with that uh, tangent and sine and cosine to the negative 1 function on your calculator. First thing we need to do is use the sides of the triangle and your calculator to find the measure of angle A. So angle A is down here on the lower right, of course. So we're looking for this angle right here. Um, and then we need to round our answer to the nearest tenth of a degree. So since the two sides we have are opposite that angle, the side across from it, and the side next to the angle, so that's adjacent, are two bits of information opposite over adjacent represent the tangent. So opposite over adjacent equals the tangent of angle A. And we're looking for angle A, so we need to get rid of the tangent on this side, put it on the other side, and then we're going to use the tangent negative 1. So we have the inverse tangent, tangent negative 1, of opposite over adjacent, so 20 over 25, of 20 over 25 will be equal to angle A. And 20 25ths, of course, reduces to 4 fifths. So we have the inverse tangent of 4 fifths will be equal to our missing angle. So now we bring out our calculator. See if I can find mine here. Yeah, there we go. So we have clear. We have 4 divided by 5. So 0.8, of course. And then we multiply that by second function inverse tangent. And it tells us that our degree measure is 38.659. Now we're supposed to round to the nearest tenth of a degree, so we're rounding to the 6. And since the next number is a 5, we go up, so we get 38.7 degrees. So angle A is 38.7 degrees. Cool. All right, example B. Angle A is an acute angle in a right triangle find the measure of angle A to the nearest tenth of a degree. So this one is just playing with those ratios. If we know that the sine of A is 0.68, then 0.68 times the inverse sine will be A. Yeah, so let's take our calculator here. And we'll clear it. We'll do 0.68 and then inverse sine gives us 42 and again, nearest tenth of a degree, 42.8 degrees. So angle A equals 42.8 degrees. Now for our second one, we have the cosine of A is 0.85. So we need to find the inverse cosine of 0.85 to find A. So we'll clear. We'll do 0.85. And of course, my second function stays locked, but yours may not. Second function cosine is now inverse cosine. 31.78 rounds to 31.8. So for this one, angle A is 31.8 degrees. And then for our third one, if the tangent of A is 0.34, then the inverse tangent of 0.34 will be A. So we'll do clear 0.34 inverse tangent 18.8 degrees so we get a angle a equals 18 point what is 18.8 18.8 wow that's horrible 18.8 degrees all right there we go now example c says solve the right triangle so here we have two sides we need one more side and we have one angle we need two more angles so the first thing let's do is solve for that final side. We'll use Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And we have side B and we have side C. So we know that A squared plus 24 squared equals 30 squared. And if I bring up my calculator, clear 24. Where's my squared button? Ah, there it is. 24 squared is 576, and 30 squared should be 900. 576 and 900. So we have a squared plus 576 equals 900. So then we'll subtract 576 from 900. 900 minus 576 equals 324. So that would be a squared. 
and the square root of 324 is 18. So 3, 324 equals a squared, so a equals 18. So here's our 18 uh, unit side. Now to find our missing angles, we'll use our sine cosine tangent ratios. We're looking for angle C here. So let's do um, adjacent and hypotenuse, which would be cosine, right? So the cosine of angle Y is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse, or 24 over 30. And that would be reduces by 6, right? So we got 4 fifths. So then if the cosine of the angle is 4 fifths, then the inverse cosine of 4 fifths will be our angle. So 4 fifths is 0 0.8. 0 0.8 inverse cosine, 37 degrees. So this one's 37 degrees. And if this one's 90 and this one's 37, 90 plus 37 equals 127. And then we just need to subtract that from 180 to get our final angle. So 53 degrees. So this one over here has got to be 53 degrees. And we're done. We have all our angles and all our sides solved.